Encephalitis and meningitis are both conditions that affect your brain. Both can be caused by viruses, bacteria, fungi, or parasites. They're also both considered serious and need to be treated right away by a medical professional. Despite similarities, encephalitis and meningitis are not the same. Let's look at the big differences between encephalitis and meningitis. The biggest distinction between encephalitis and meningitis comes down to the part of your body that these conditions mostly impact. Meningitis is a swelling of the membranes, also known as meninges, that surround your brain and spinal cord. Encephalitis is inflammation of the brain itself. Causes Meningitis and encephalitis can both be caused by a virus or bacteria. Viral meningitis is the most common type of meningitis. It is less severe than bacterial meningitis. Viral encephalitis is the most common type of encephalitis. Both viral conditions be caused by herpes viruses, influenza, measles, mumps, and chickenpox virus. Bacterial meningitis needs to be diagnosed and treated immediately. It can be caused by bacterial infections, such as streptococcus pneumoniae, haemophilus influenza, or several other strains of bacteria. A bacterial infection can also cause encephalitis, but it is not common. Symptoms Headache, fatigue, and high fever can all be symptoms of either condition. But the onset of symptoms and symptom severity of meningitis and encephalitis are different. Symptoms of meningitis may come suddenly. At first, there may not be any symptoms at all. But once meningitis starts to progress, the symptoms become quite severe. Symptoms of meningitis may include neck stiffness, headache, fever over 103 degrees Fahrenheit, skin spots, or a skin rash, seizures, and a breathing. Symptoms of encephalitis may be mild at first, but can build in severity as an infection progresses without treatment. Symptoms of encephalitis may include headache, fever over 103 degrees Fahrenheit, aching joints, blurred vision, slurred speech, weakness, confusion, and paralysis. Treatment. Treatments for encephalitis and meningitis depend on the severity of your condition and how much it has progressed. All bacterial meningitis must be treated in the hospital. Viral meningitis may also be treated in the hospital depending on your symptoms. Treatments typically include an antibiotic IV infusion to treat bacterial meningitis, IV fluids to prevent dehydration, steroid medication to prevent brain swelling, oxygen if you're having difficulty in breathing. If you have a more mild case of viral meningitis, you may be able to treat it at home. Treatment may include over-the-counter painkillers, drinking lots of fluid, getting plenty of rest. Encephalitis always needs to be treated in the hospital. Treatments may include steroid medication to reduce swelling in the brain, antibiotics, antifungal, or antiviral medication to treat the cause of disease, immunoglobulin therapy. The Takeaway Meningitis and encephalitis are both neurological conditions that directly affect your brain. While these conditions have some causes and symptoms in common, they are treated differently. If left untreated, both conditions can lead to brain damage or prove fatal. Speak to a medical professional right away if you have symptoms of encephalitis or meningitis. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. For more videos about common medical differences, keep sharing and keep supporting. Thank you.